my uh, arcade game pick of the week this week is another one from the COBOL Kid who is on a tear making incredible games, and this is Racquetball. It's mind-blowing. This game is fantastic. It's so well done, uh, and it starts off with a bang with this most excellent splash screen. And I am transported back to the 1980s and 90s when I was playing racquetball, and that may be true for a lot of you. Uh, I even played it a little in the 2000s, but where did racquetball go? It's probably just, it's probably out there. Um, Here it says, after serving the ball, uh, it can only bounce once on the floor between hits, and it then tells you the controls. I think it's space and E is the easiest way to do it uh, if you're on the um, simulator here, but you could also put this onto a machine like a Pi Gamer if you wanted to play it on, on a hardware console. And so you'll notice, we've got a little animated racquetball player here. Uh, I know this is going to stutter a bit playing it in the simulator, but I've had problems trying to play uh, this as video in the past. Oh, the ball is slowly stopping that bounce. So I'm going to hit it. And you can see it's got awesome physics, this great 3D uh, effect. It's also really difficult, so you'll see me starting and stopping a lot. Uh, And I'm also really uh, impressed by this ball dynamics and the shadow. And one interesting thing that I uh, noticed, ooh, I'm on a, this is the best I've played it. Uh, Let me try backhand. There we go, ooh, backhand. Uh. So if you look at the game, I'm gonna hit edit code here. What I recommend is take a look at it and start breaking it down into pieces if you wanna learn about how it's working, how the physics is set up. I'm gonna move the, uh, excuse me, the simulator out of the way. You can also, take a look at the JavaScript version of it. While it, although it was created entirely in blocks, if you look at uh, the JavaScript on a game of this size, sometimes it's a little clearer what's going on. One interesting thing that I noticed is that all of the physics are actually happening on the shadow, uh, not the ball. So this is kind of interesting. It's It's a little simpler because the ball, if you watch its shadow, is more Uh, of a two-dimensional movement. It's really just moving on X and Y of the screen. And the uh, ball itself is just piggybacking along with that and has some extra uh, code to tell it to move on this uh, sort of vertical dimension. Um, So you might want to take a look at that. and, And I just hid the ball entirely and was just studying the motion of the shadow. It's uh, maybe a little more difficult to play when you're, when you're trying to just hit the shadow, but it's definitely uh, a little easier to take a look at how it works. So that is my pick of the week. I recommend if you're interested in some more advanced um, make code topics, this is a really good one to study. It's incredibly well done. Uh, and that is Racquetball by the Cobol Kid. And that is my game pick of the week.